All right, to other news now. Sun Metro is looking to raise bus fares for the first time in 15 years. The move comes after it received millions of dollars in federal funding during the pandemic. KTSN 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live in downtown El Paso with why officials say money, that money is running out. Sun Metro proposing that a bus fares increase from $150 to $2. And the company is also looking to end bus transfers and instead offer all day passes that would be $5. Now, the director of Sun Metro says this is something that's long overdue. It's really bad on us, bad on Sun Metro for not raising our rates previously. Ellen Smythe, the director of Sun Metro, estimating the fare increase would add an additional $880,000 in revenue to the more than $6 million in revenue Sun Metro made in 2020. Passengers should recognize that if, if we didn't exist, you know, because we're, we need to be sustainable. We need to be here for them. Um, because if we're not here, they're going to have to pay Uber or Lyft or a taxi cab. Adding that the over $40 million from CARES Act funding went towards Sun Metro's $17 million deficit and new buses. And now money's running out. The CARES funding that we received, the first thing we did was pay off our deficit because we owed that to the, we actually used the money from the CARES for the salaries and used the salary money to pay off the deficit. So, um, and then we also ordered 10 new buses. But an El Paso disability rights advocate says the fare increase is too much. Because everybody asks me, why now? We're just coming out of a pandemic. Why are you going to kick it while we're down? Zavala is blind, saying he knows what it's like needing to use Sun Metro Lyft for the disabled. People, especially individuals with disabilities, like in my example, I can't drive, or my wife is working, I have to use a paratransit or the Lyft. Okay, and normally, thank God I'm working, but those are 99.9% .9 of the Lyft passengers don't work. The proposal still has to go to city council, but Sun Metro does say that they will not be increasing fares for already reduced rides, like those that are discounted for seniors, students, military, and children. Reporting live in downtown Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. Right, Shelby, thank you very much.